Here we go. 2007 round one. What will make the list? Resident Evil 4, Wii Edition, took top pick with 14 points, leaving it a 16.47% to win today. Will it come out on top? That is the question. How did the viewers compare to each other? Basically, how unique was your list? Similar to some other viewers. We're going to start with the most similar ones who had the same pick as others. Ranking number one was Retro Man 85. Four similar picks. I mean, him. he only had one unique. And then at number two was Ballot Thor. Three picks. Our little third place was Tire Roller Last. Three picks. Most unique list. Topping number one was there two was zero picks. Nobody. He had not even one pick similar to anybody else. Number two would have been Miss Chosen. Number three, we have a tie for third with Dr. Funks at one pick and Cyanide 1007 with two. Top pick of game. This is my list of top picks of games picked on different categories. Thought we'd see how you need. Uh, getting into it. All right. Top five that games that were picked overall. Now this was just bait, point based. Number one was Resident Evil Four. Pretty much discussed this. You are here, Retro Man. Let's see. Let me back up a slide or two here. I know you'll be on the VOD, but I want to show you this. You made a list here. How the viewers compared to each other. With the most similar picks. It means uh, everybody who picked off your list picked the same games as somebody. You took number one. Retro Man 84. Your, your, your list was not that unique, huh? <laughs> you already vote. Anyway, back to topic. We were discussing uh, Resident Evil 4. Number two was Bust a Move Bash. Number three was Tony Hawk Proving Ground. Number four was Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Number five was Mortal Kombat Armageddon. <laughs> Top troll pick. Number one, Pets Horses 2. Now these have no specific order. They were just picked. I thought were the top five troll picks that people pick. Number two, Disney Princess Enchanted Journey. Number three, Barbie as the Island Princess. Try to slow down because I gotta remember there's a delay here. <sighs> Number 
for High School Musical Sing It. Number five, Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver. Top multi-platform. So these were released on different platforms. Of course, we know a few that are already going to be on this list. Let's go ahead and hit that number one. We all know Resident Evil 4. Number two, Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Three, Tony Hawk Proving Ground. As you can see, there's a similarity with all these picks. Four, got a new hitter, TMNT. Nickelodeon's first Ninja Turtle game. Uh, then number five, Spider-Man 3. Top Wii exclusive. These were games that were released on Wii when they first launched. They may have been ported later on. Or they are still we exclusive. Uh, Bleach, Shattered Blade, Two, Monster Hunter, Try. Three, Trauma Center, New Blood. Four, Raving Ravings Rabbits 2. Number five, Sonic and the Secret Man. All right. Some honorable mentions. Mario Strikers Charge. Cooking Mama Cook-Off. Escape from Bug Island. Backyard Football 08. Baruch. Honorable mentions. I could have made these lists. Now it's time to for the wheel to roll. Let's get on into the wheel. How's everyone doing? Alrighty. Do, 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 do. All right. Let's see what game number one is going to be. What is on the first one? Let's roll. Let's spin this wheel. We would like to play Backyard Football 08. Sports games took that one. Alrighty. First one goes to a sports game. And why am I? I'm going to. I might have to back with these results here in a minute. Something is causing the internet to go wild.
VR paused at the moment. We're trying to get our bit rate back. All right, we're green. Let's see if it stays green. All right. Spin the wheel for game number two. Take that one out of the running. Game number two. We would like to play Barbie as the Island Princess. Oof. Oof. Troll pick comes in for number two. That is rough. As big as as big as Resident Evil is on that board, it's it's slim picking it. Y'all are excited for me to play that one. I already know it. Yeah, they're top tier so far. All right, let's get on in here and let's see what game number three is going to be. Top tier for sure. And the pointer's wrong. It's actually right at the knuckle. We would like <laughs> to play. I Next game, number three was Escape from Bug Island. All right. Welcome in, Lass. Welcome in, Shadow Huntress. They're only on game three right now. They're going for number four. Why did I... Yep, you made it. Some of it. We would like to play. That had a high percentage chance of winning. I need to fix the pointer on round two because the pointer technically is the last is the last knuckle. And not the finger. I didn't do that right. What? Should have checked that before. Oh well. Next one is Mortal Kombat Armageddon. All right. Four down. Going into number five. Five is we would like to play Tony Hawk Proving Ground. Alrighty. Went into game number six. We would like to play. There it is. Resident Evil 4 finally takes its spot.
The fourth runner finally takes its spot. Number six. <laughs> Number seven. We would like to play. Oh, check that out. What is going on with this wheel? Oh, I know what's going on with the wheel. Hold up. Yeah, we'll see. All right, we got number seven. We got to save the settings. All right, we would like to play number seven. Ooh, I'm looking forward to this one. Trauma Center, New Blood. That's going to be a fun one. Refresh the wheel. I haven't been doing it. Game number eight. We would like to play. Pyro comes in at number eight. Okay, refreshing. Ready, going into the final two. Number nine. We would like to play. Bust the move bash. Retro, are you rigging this? Are you jacking my wheel and or what? I think retro rigged the rigged the wheel. Last, but finally, let's see what the final game is. We would like to play. Sonic and Secret Rain. Got an overall pretty good lineup out of it. We got Backyard Football 08. Barbie as the Island Princess, Escape from Bug Island, Mortal Kombat Armageddon, Tony Hawk Proving Ground, Resident Evil 4, Promise in Her New Blood, Legend of Spyro, Bust a Move, and Sonic. Uh, it's a pretty good combo. You guys are taking out a lot of the heavy hitters early. The 07 list. So we're going to be starting in round two. We're going to have to get a little, get a little slimmer.
We've already spun the wheel, so let's go on. <laughs> you bleed the fifth. Oh. Must be a really bad delay today because of the internet being just crap. So now we have the results in for 07 list. But what does 06 still have for us? Because we got to finish up 06. This is what's left in 06. Once we get through these, the 07 year will begin. Round one will begin. It, we have Disney's Chicken Little Ace in the Hole, Nickelodeon's Avatar Last Airbender, Need for Speed Carbon, Disney's Pixar Cars, Rampage Total Destruction, Barnyard, BT Pro Series. SpongeBob, Creature from the Krispy Krab, Monster 4x4 World Circuit. And then we're going to get into our final games of the 06 year. Wii Sports, which it launched with. Must play it at the time. That's got to be a highlight. Highlight. And of course, the biggest game of the 06 has to go to Zelda Twilight Princess. It may have came out on GameCube at the same time, but it was programmed for the Wii as well. So that's what we got upcoming here in 06. Once we get through those games, we will be going into round one of 06. Round one of 2000 game list has been set. So who's ready to see this game list? Number one will be Ultimate Board Game. Twelve classic board game styles customized each. What twelve classics are in it? Chess, checkers, backgammon, Chinese checkers, rivers, Sudoku, word cubes, jigsaw, mahjong, go miku, naval battle, and quadro. We're gonna be getting into that. Number two is backyard foot. I thought it was baseball. I type in football. It's baseball. Whoops. User typer. Now it is football. Backyard football 08. Which is a kiddish style backyard uh, playground football game. Alright. Well you have a good one. Work too hard. Number three. Barbie as the Island Princess. What does that one unfold for us? That's based off of a, the movie, I guess. Barbie as the Island follows a party-style storyline you'll play as Roll and the chef wrecked princess who is raised by a family of animal friends and rescue. Fun. Number four. Mercury Meltdown Revolution.
which is a, if I remember right, give me a minute, is a marble plat, is a kind of like monkey ball, but with marble. It's a brain teasing puzzle game that challenges players to immerse themselves in the colorful sci fi machines, crazy creatures, and I think it's based off of Marble. It's it's like Marble Madness for the NES. I bet she is. Oh yeah, I would be excited too. It's Barbie. <laughs> Kate from Bug Island. What is? Survive the dark island of Bezel Bub in this third person survival horror adventure where airy life forms will turn your campaign getaway into a nightmare. Alrighty. For six, Mortal Kombat Armageddon. We all know what Mortal Kombat entails for us. It'll be fun. Seven, Prince of Persia Rival Swords. Nice classic Prince of Persia. Style. I have no, never played Rival Swords, but I played the the ones on PlayStation. Let's see how this one holds up. Tony Hawk Proving Ground. Now, was that more of the original Tony Hawk style, or was that more of the downhill jam style we did? It looks more classic, just updated graphics. All right. For long, long years. Yep, it's gonna be more of a classic. Ooh, why do I keep dipping it in? Number nine, Resident Evil Four, Wii Edition. We get to play with the wonderful motion control. Then we go into a, our sports block, which the next five games are going to be sports. Okay. So we have SSX Blur coming in at number 10. Number 11, NBA Live 08. I forgot to change the number to that. So excuse me. Bad editor. And then it would be WWE SmackDown versus Brawl 2008. Thirteen is Madden 08. Finishing up the block, AMF Bowling Pin Buster. Nice classic bowling game for the Wii. And we go in into Trauma Center New Blood, which is a visual novel with surgery elements. Legend of Spiral the Internal Knights. That's going to be interesting to see how Spyro turned out to be. Uh, the Wii. I believe that was a Wii exclusive home console. I think it was, no, it wasn't. But anyways, what is the inter new attacks? Dragon. That's like, it's a classic spiral game. Dropping again. I'm moving this one too far. Then we have number 17, Star Trek. Once we start Trauma Center New Blood is when the round two raffle will open up. And 17, we had Conquest. Single player game of Galactic Conquest featuring blend of strategy, action set in the new gen, gen in the next generation era. All right. So we'll see how that's gonna be. 
Number 18, Bust the Move Bash. Number 19, Sonic and Secret Wing. We all know what 3D Mario uh, Sonic looks like this. And last but not least, number 20. The one that's going to finish up. Probably one of the worst games on Wii and is going to be a rage fest. Because the controls are so flaky. I only got one reviewed. I got a few two reviews on other platforms. But number 20, behold the holy grail of the bottom of the barrel. Ninja Bread Man. We're going to go ahead and get that knocked out of the way. Number 20. Looks like it's going to be an exciting round one. We got a little mixture of everything. Got a lot of heavy hitters, though. So it's going to be a great round. But I have a feeling round two is not going to be as good. <laughs> yeah, that ninja bread man. If you haven't seen what it is, look up a review for it. It's definitely going to be a rage fest. <laughs> but I think this round one is going to be a very, very well-rounded. It's going to be some fun. Ups and downs. But thanks for tuning in. I can't wait for the flinging to come. Here we come, 2007. I don't know what you're all excited about, but there's some great picks coming. Can't wait. We need to finish up 06, and so tonight we might hit that hard and go ahead and try to knock out. Um, back it up here. What did we have on 06? So we're going to maybe try to knock out Little Ace in the Hole tonight and then maybe get on to Avatar. Try to knock out those top two within the next day and a half. So even if I have to pull a lot of hours. So then we can get on to, we know Need for Speed Carbon is going to be a little bit of a grind. Uh, Disney Pixar should be alright. Hmm. The only one I see on this list that's going to be a little bit more of a grind until we get into Zelda, which is uh, GT, and maybe Monster 4x4, depending on how it rolls. I'm sure, have it really need for speed, GT, and the racing game. It's going to be a little bit of a game. The others, we should be able to smash in at least one night, maybe. I'm looking forward to SpongeBob, though. That'd be a fun. But that will conclude 